Week 11 of the NFL season starts tomorrow with an intriguing matchup between the Arizona Cardinals and the Seattle Seahawks. Now, the NFC West has been top seats Irby. Been a great division to watch so far this season, giving us some great games, and the NFC West lead is up for grabs in this game. The Cardinals can take a little bit of control, not too much control, because, you know, the Rams and the Seahawks are still in it. If they win this game, they are riding high off the momentum from beating the Bills last week, and, you know, can the Seahawks defense stop the Cardinals? I don't know. We'll have to find out because, you know, it's been a rough going for the Seahawks defense, especially their pass defense. Oh, boy. Rough, rough time when you're 32nd in the league, dead last in pass defense. Can Russell Wilson finally get himself back together? He's been th He was throwing touchdowns and stuff like that all throughout the first half of the season. Now the last couple weeks, he's been looking kind of off. You know, the offensive line is protecting him as well as they should. And how in the world will Kyler Murray do? How in the world will that talented core of backs and receivers do for the Arizona Cardinals? Because, man, those guys can light it up at any time. We saw how last week, and we're going to see it once more. So, there's that. Sunday, 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 Sunday. Not a lot there on, you know, Sunday, but, I mean, there's still some stuff that's looking pretty interesting. You know, we got um, Titans taking on the Ravens. Going to be one heck of a matchup there. Wonder how in the world, you know, the Ravens are going to rebound after losing you know, last week to the Patriots, and how in the world are the Titans going to rebound after getting throttled by the by the Colts? You know, how in the world is that going to work out? Both these teams are coming off losses. Both these teams need victories to keep themselves in position to get closer to the number one seeded Steelers. We're taking on the Jags, but that's the Jaguars, so who cares about that matchup right there? Lions, Panthers, another matchup we don't really care about. Patriots, Texans, another matchup we don't care about around here. Um, Bengals taking on the Washington football team. Really don't care for this matchup at all. And Falcons, Saints, I'm thinking Jameis is going to be the starter for the Saints. I'm not sure. I don't really care for this game at all. There's nothing really to talk about with this game. I mean, it's the Falcons, they'll... They, they, they are not very good. Not very good team to watch. But the Eagles-Browns is a very... Yeah, this is only for, you know, otherwise this game wouldn't really matter all that much. But the Eagles and the Browns is going to be interesting for a lot of reasons. Because the Eagles still lead in the NFC East. And as a Dallas Cowboys fan, we need the Eagles to start losing more games. But... You know, there could be some potential for, you know, the NFC East to look real interesting by the time Week 17 comes. And, you know, the Browns, they have to get it together. You know, they lost Odell Beckham a couple weeks back. Haven't seen, I haven't seen them play in a few weeks, so it'll be interesting to see them play against these Eagles or, who are coming up to Cleveland. Again, you know. Just need the Eagles to start losing more games. And Titans-Ravens is going to be fun, too, so. Ooh, boy. Next up, we have a couple of games. 305, Dolphins, Broncos. No, there's nothing really to see here. Tua Tagovailoa should, you know, keep his hands real clean because the Broncos are not very good. Jets-Chargers. Pretty much a glorified, you know, Chargers victory at this point. The Jets are that bad. There's, there's, there's just so much drama surrounding the Jets that there's no point in talking about it. And the Chargers, you know, they just need to, you know, keep on. They, they, they still have a, you know, a very small chance to get into the playoff hunt. You know, with the 17 playoff in the AFC and the 17 playoff in the NFC. You know, making a total of 14 teams. So, you know. Still a little, little bit of a chance with the Chargers, but not too much of a chance right now. Monday night, Rams take on the Bucks. It's going to be one fun game. Another AFC West matchup. 
highlights on Sunday night, the Chiefs taking on the Raiders. I wonder how in the world are the Chiefs going to do because their only loss is to the Raiders. And the Raiders, they've been looking pretty interesting. They've been looking pretty good the last couple weeks, I'll tell you that much. They've been looking like a team that can play. And, you know, I mean, it's just going to be one hell of a matchup on Sunday night. Rams Bucks, on the other hand, I think it's going to be good too. But, you know, it, which Buccaneers team are we going to get? Are we going to get the Buccaneers team that's been going straight through foes? Or is it going to be the Buccaneers that basically lied down and played dead for three hours against the Saints twice? You know, because if the Rams start to dominate on defense, it's going to be harder for the Bucs. It's going to be harder for them to get this victory. But... You know, the mainstays, of course, we got to talk about these two games last. First off, let's talk about my Dallas Cowboys taking on the Minnesota Vikings. Dalvin Cook has been looking pretty damn great this season. One of my picks for comeback player of the year. Uh, last year, I said Aaron Jones. This year, I'm saying Dalvin Cook. Man, if he gets going... And I'm not sure what in the world the Cowboys are thinking having Andy Dalton continue to try and start. You know, he's back from um, COVID, concussion protocols, whatnot. Uh, should be Garrett Gilbert, but we'll see how in the world this goes. This game probably should have been flexed back to noon. But whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah, Cowboys, not very good. Coming off their bye, Vikings. Looking like there's going to be more with them as the season goes along. And on the other hand, last but not least, are the Packers taking on the Colts. Man, when I tell you this is going to be good, this is going to be good. You know, the Packers, they have looked very, very good throughout the season. You know, a couple losses here and there, but the Packers have looked like a good team. They've looked like a good team. You know, there's been some times where, you know, the defense kind of gets away from them. And, you know, there's been some times where Aaron Rodgers hasn't played, you know, to the best of his abilities. But they are taking on the Colts, and the Colts could bring out a lot of things in a team. It, and the Colts, uh, you know, they're a strong defense, strong defensive team. You know, Phillip Rivers may lead them on offense. He may trot them out there. But... It's really the Colts' defense going up against Aaron Rodgers. How's that matchup going to go? I wonder, you know, if the Colts do get going on offense because they can get going on offense. They can. How in the world will the Packers' defense adjust? It's very simple. So, yeah, that's week 11 in a nutshell. You know, about five or six games that look very intriguing. Very exciting matchups this week. You know, unlike last week where it was a complete and total, utterly bad slate. But this week looks a lot better. And so we're getting closer. We're getting closer, y'all, to finding out who the 14 teams that will go to the NFL playoffs will be. And there's a lot of heavyweight matchups, you know, in the spotlight, you know, especially in, in, the, in that later in in these late time slots, you know the you know the big three twenty five game of the week, and then you know Sunday night, Monday night, Thursday night, it's gonna be one hell of a slate. So with that being said, everybody, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, should be an NBA video coming out soon, maybe I don't know when, because you know we got a lot of stuff to talk about with the NBA, but yeah. See you there, everybody.